Okay, so we've just heard the warnings about the Zika virus and travel plans. And many of the countries on the danger list are popular spring break destinations. Are you looking for an alternative? Ed Manny is the president of Burkhalter Travel, and he's here today with some ideas. Ed, thanks for being with us today. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. We're, we're also taking calls at 270-9933 if you have a question for Ed. But let's, let's start. Have you got any cancellations because of the Zika virus? Yeah, I have two cancellations that we uh, know of. Uh, because of the Zika virus, and in both cases, um, the spouse was pregnant. So oh, wow. Have you got any questions, got any questions about it? Questions, oh, uh, from other travelers? Yeah. Oh, yes, sure, of course, of course. And what do you tell them? Well, we, we give them the advice that the CDC puts out. Uh, we're on an alert from the CDC. Um, every time they um, have a new alert comes out, we get messaged about it. So we pass that on to our travelers because we want them to be as informed as they possibly can. Well, sure. And what are some of the big countries that people are traveling to that they might be concerned about? Because I was looking at that list and I thought, well, you know, I'm not going to travel to Colombia anytime soon, but I could maybe go to Mexico. Sure. And I know a lot of families might be making those plans for spring break. You yeah, know? Mexico is one uh, with the Olympics in Brazil coming up this year. That's another one. Those are probably the two most popular, I'd say. Mm -hmm. So, what are the big bargain destinations right now? The bargain destinations, well, Mexico uh, is, has been a great buy for years and it still is probably the best buy from a warm weather destination. Um, cruises are a good value. Costa Rica is very popular and the up and coming destination right now is Panama. Panama? Mm -hmm. Panama, yeah. Mm -hmm. Why wonder why Panama? Just because it's a good deal or just because it's... Well, it's a newer destination for Americans. They've built some very nice resorts now, all-inclusive and non-all-inclusive resorts. Uh, so it's what we're after. And you can get the Panama Canal. You can stay 20 minutes from the Panama Canal and get that as part of your vacation. Oh, wow. Also, either in a boat, a day boat going through it, or going to the Mirror Floors Locks uh, to the Visitor Center and the first set of locks is right there that you're watching these huge ships go up and down. It's, yeah, it it's is, fascinating. It is spectacular. Yeah. I've been there. It yeah. is, it's very, very cool. Yeah. Did you take a cruise? Is that what you did? Well, we were on a cruise and so we took a day trip. We didn't cruise okay. through the canal. Mm -hmm. You just took a cruise and she loved it. <laughs> I yeah. did. It was my first cruise oh, and we went uh -huh. to Mexico. So, I mean, I would do, I would totally do that, yeah. but I've heard a lot of people saying Panama and I heard you talk about it yeah. in the newsroom. Yeah. Two seven zero nine nine three three is the number to call if you'd like to talk to Ed about any travel questions that you have. Airfares, are they pretty stable now or is it, should you wait? No, not if you're thinking of spring break. Uh, spring break, it becomes an availability issue. So the earlier you book, the better fare you get. Fares aren't going to go down for spring break. They're only going to go up. It's too late yeah, for that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering when you get a CDC, I mean, how often do you get like a, a warning from the CDC or some sort of travel advisory? Does that happen every year where you're kind of maneuvering for people? Oh, yes, yeah, several times a year for different things. Some of it very rarely applies to our travelers and other things like this uh, are more applicable. That's mm -hmm. it. So you're used to it. This is old sure, hat. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> people concerned about going to Europe with the terrorism and... No, we haven't seen cancellations for Europe as a result of that. Um, I think, unfortunately, we're a little bit, I'll say, deadened mm -hmm. to it. It, mm -hmm. it happens. It's a way of, of life now all over the globe. So uh, people, at least our clients uh, that I know of, haven't been changing their plans. All right. If you have travel questions you'd like answered now, is the time to call in. Yep. You can talk to Ed at 270-9933. We'll get to your calls when Live at 4 continues. We are taking your travel calls with Ed Manny, or is it Manny? I'm sorry. Manny. Manny mm -hmm. from Burkholder Travel. And let's get to the phone. 270-9933 is the number to call. We'll start with Kay in Janesville. Hi, Kay. Hi. What's your question? My question is, I wonder if he has any plans made for the upcoming Rose Bowl, because that's on my bucket list, and I would like to go. Uh, the Rose Bowl for next year? Yes. Uh, yes, there are packages available. Uh, they're not available at this time, but they will be available later on this year for the Rose Bowl for next year. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's go to Susan now from Fort Atkinson. Hi, Susan. Hi. Um, I've had a question, I guess it's been on my mind for a while. It's about with gas prices and fuel prices being at all-time record lows, the air fares have remained high, and there hasn't been an outcry at all among the traveling public. Um, I'm wondering, they're, they're proclaiming record profits. Mm -hmm. What's the deal? Good question. <laughs> yeah. Well, airfares have actually gone down about 20% uh, 
uh, from where they were at this time last year overall when you look at them worldwide. Um, but gas and jet fuel has gone down much, much more than that. Okay, sure. The airlines are just making more money. They're in the business to make money for their uh, shareholders, and that's what they're doing. They're not lowering prices uh, correspondingly. Do they buy the fuel like a year in advance? Do they speculate? Yeah, they have futures contracts so on they, fuel. They, they so they paid this a while ago. Yes, yeah, some, some of it they'll be paying spot market prices, and others they'll have contracts that they... Um, agreed upon um, months and months ago okay. at higher prices. And okay. Prices mm -hmm. always go up. Mm -hmm. every now. Oh, for sure. Yeah. 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 Okay, so we have Jeanette from Middleton. She has a question about cruise lines. Hi, Jeanette. Yeah. Um, my question is this, and I don't know if you can answer this, but why are cruise lines so um, single traveler unfriendly? Not all cruise lines are single traveler unfriendly. Uh, the new ships that have come out in the last three or four years have cabins specifically built for single travelers um, at lower prices. Um, so like Norwegian Cruise Line is one of them. Uh, Royal Caribbean is another one that I know of that have cabins specifically for single travelers. But now. in the old days, you'd have to pay, if you're going by yourself, you have to pay double. Just double. about double, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Can so. we, do we have time for one more question? All right, one quick one. Let's go to Jay in Thompson Creek. Hi, Jay. Hi, how are you? Hi, what's your question? Hey, my wife and I were in Panama a few years ago, and I heard what you said about travel to that country. We loved it, had a great time. But when we were down there, many people said to look for Honduras. And I kind of was puzzled when I heard that. What are your thoughts on travel to Honduras? Um, Honduras is another up-and-coming destination. I'd say Panama is ahead of where Honduras is right now uh, from an infrastructure standpoint for tourism. Uh, but keep an eye on that for the next several years, and you're going to hear more and more about Honduras. Boy, you make me want to go somewhere. I know. We need to pack up, don't we? <laughs> Ed, thanks very much. Oh, you're very welcome. And My thanks, pleasure. Thanks to everyone for calling in. Some great questions.